So this is the community house. Down there is the pool. And there's the public road. And a minute this way. Just one minute this way and we get to my steps. Is the steps and uh, papaya which leads up to my cabin. There's about 70 or 80 steps. Last and then there's my kitchen out uh, door structure. And the cabin structure and bathroom. I like to sleep in this way. You can also sleep in the hammock. The stream is here. And the water comes out from the stream. The bathroom is a squatting toilet. Dry. And this is the spray for shower and cleaning of the butt. And then there's a drain here. So it's good. Works well. And uh, could make a hook higher up so it can be uh, set in one place. But I like to use it like this, and I really enjoy showering in the waterfall up there which I can show in a minute. There are a few waterfalls and uh, this is the one that's up higher. There's one that's about slightly lower and uh, a bit lower further down as well so um, a couple nice shower spots in this stream. Mulberry got some leaf cutter ants or some other kind of um, caterpillar might be eating the leaves, I'm not sure, but it has fruit on it and uh, they were good when the leaves were on. I have another mulberry just behind there as well. And just this way there's another area with the stream favorite spots here because it has a little cave area and this thing there uh, it's small but it's sufficient and there's a hose here from the water line uh, that comes to the house for the community area and uh, other places that don't have the hose, I'll probably move it because um, that was not necessary. So that's uh, thrown a lot of different seeds and I'm doing a bit of planting in the jungle area itself. The fruit production, other than the cleared fruit orchard style, this is more fruit forest style. Yeah, just throw bananas, some more chop and drop is needed up there every couple weeks and some other fruit trees in between and the shower the shavings for the sawdust uh, or rather for the compost toilet nice view when the clouds clear up there's a bigger mountain behind there and I've got second hammock so two hammocks and then we can get a couple more blankets I got in there so yeah that's the situation for now I also have a mosquito net or two which I can use and in the near future I'll be adding the sink here with the hose stretched down there and then 
I can see her, and then I'll be making this a bit bigger, putting the metal sink and treating the wood. It's berries. That's the view from my kitchen, feature kitchen coming here. And the hammock, two hammocks. March 2021 is updates. So the rainy season is starting but it's slow the stream has definitely more water so it's beautiful I got my blankets all set up I found this thing in Cuenca in an Indian shop I was looking for Ganesh but the, uh, yeah, they didn't have the one I wanted so this one is Shiva which is really nice as well and I'm gonna set up this Oh, and a little bit nicer soon with some uh, nails. And we'll see what else. I have some plans for the kitchen. Make a sink still in the works. I'm waiting mainly for the wood to be dry enough. And then uh, to sand it and polish or uh, polyurethane. And then a uh, metal sink. So, yeah, things are growing well. The rain has been uh, more consistent. Some things are growing better than others. But the usual bananas, well, different varieties, of course, the unusual types. Some roselle here on the left, They're doing nice. Make them, made the teas with it, really great. Bananas, and uh, the waterfall is great. Got a box to store some things. Still have some old San Pedro. And played the hand pan a bit, the urine for the plants. And uh, yeah, continuing our mission to growing fruit, living a natural lifestyle, having natural buildings, having a healthy life with some communal and some private life. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start offering a one-on-one -on -one detox in this cabin here uh, with fasting and natural life permaculture lifestyle and you're doing uh, barefoot walking and, and uh, bathing in the stream and also walking through nature um, doing enemas as well and I'll set this place up nicely for it. The bathroom. With a good place to clean up and everything. And then the um, wood shavings. And it goes back to the land. But I will be putting it around fruit trees. So it helps fertilize. And uh, the enema bag that I have. And then I'll get some more. And um, this is the... Um, cleaning device with water. I'll be getting also clean water for the enema bed, but this comes from the stream which is clean, so the filtration and of course privacy, no problem, closed. And, uh, yeah. or if you choose, you could leave it open, which is uh, what I do because it's private enough here. Up here is not many people coming. I put a sign that says that it's private property. It is a uh, private property. It's my lot on the community private property. So we have a communal owned land. This area down here is the community area, whereas where I'm here now is my own private lot, um, which I own. And yeah. The only little reason I do allow the workers to go through is the public path. Uh, sorry, not the public. Well, the public path is down there, but it ends there. 
this path leads to the water line, so it is a possibility if there is issues with the water, which is very rare. Um, and I would know when they're coming, we'll communicate with some radios that I'm getting in a month. So yeah, hope that was informative. And see you on the next one. Lots of chili. We have this spicy habanero type, and it's fantastic. So we've got the vegetable garden, lots of cherry tomatoes. Got some pumpkin and some peppers as well from over there. There's the squashes and the uh, loofah, which is kind of like a uh, cucumber type of thing, but we can use it for washing. We have the turmeric in the over here and ginger over here. Came from the vegetable garden and the green beans. Oh, wing beans. <laughs> Magic carpet ride. <laughs> collecting. How the bathroom looks. The Sawdust, and then stand here, poop, and put more sawdust. And you can also close the door if you wanted, but it's quiet enough that I keep it open. Nobody here. And then for the shower, you wash with this, turn this on, and then spray, turn it up, spray. That's it, and I have a vine growing here.